What is it like to go on an England away day? Thousands of England fans are travelling over to Milan for Italy away in the Nations League, but what is the experience like? Well, today, I'm going to show you exactly what it's about. England have two games before the World Cup. One against Italy, the San Siro behind me, and one at Germany at home at Wembley, which we'll be going to, and of course Qatar as well. But first of all, we've got to beat the Italians and get our revenge from the Euros. But we've got to take a look around Milan, because is it beautiful? I do not know. So let's go and find out. One thing as well, we're going to be watching football for £9.50. That's what our ticket costs to watch football inside this iconic stadium in Europe. You can't knock that, can you? Fair play to the Italians. Well, that's not bad, is it? Welcome to Milan. Flipping it, you got pigeon whispers all around over it. Fair enough. And you got this tall building here, but it's all about the pigeons, about the looks of it. Flipping it. As far as shopping centre goes, this is bloody beautiful. So apparently, you go on this, do a 360, and it gives you luck. Apparently, Dad. So you got to, you got to have a little 360 for an England win tonight. This is Dad's luck for England tonight. <laughs> Three times, sir. <laughs> I took too many, too many. No, no, it's bad luck. There's the luck, and hopefully we get the three to win tonight. This is all about, but I remember that when I last came. What, what's your what? prediction tonight, mate? Tell me. Uh, Are England, uh, two one for England. It is the calm before the storm here. We're by a canal where all England fans were last night, but it's absolutely class. 1 p.m., the game's at 8.45, which is so long away, so we'll soak up the atmosphere later, but chill out for now in this brilliant scenery in the middle of Milan. Whilst England were continuously taken over the canal, I was eating the best Italian food I have ever had. I think I've just had one of the best Italian dishes I've ever had, pasta, pizza in Italy. Just hits like that, just a little bit different. Look at the size of that beer litre as well. Now when you talk about England takeovers, now I'm going to show you the real deal. Name me a country who would do exactly what England are doing right now in Milan. No one does it like England. Look at that, flags around. This place is covered full of England fans. They go on, they go on, they go on. Hey, Milan is absolutely being taken over by England fans. Please don't, please don't, please don't me. And just like that, we are back at the San Siro. My hotel's actually there, by the way. Need to go there before heading into the beauty. As far as England away days go, this one is huge. 4,500 England fans here. There's more than that in the actual city. It's absolutely taken over by England fans. Your hotel is very far away from the stadium, isn't it? Just there. I can't wait for this. It's not a bad way to start your England away days, is it, Dad? Oh, not bad. What's been so good about this trip as well is all the England fans are together. No matter what club you support, when united as a country, which has been absolutely amazing. I tell you what, you see Blackpool flags, you see Preston flags, but when it comes to England, you're all together. And that is what's so great when you're all in there, all together, singing and chanting. There is nothing better. You come through to this presence, you just search in the box. And then after some time, they close the gate, and off we go. Yeah, man. We're in. And then we've got to go up these spirals, which I tell you, I've done this before, and it is horrible. Come on, Come on follow England away. What's your prediction? Tell me. We've got to win tonight. We've got to win. One. Eric Dyer, 96 minute winner. Jesus Christ. Oh, going up this is going to be a mission. We've got the Italian youth. <laughs> the Italian youth in full force. Oh, I'll tell you what, here we are. We've got this, this window in front of us, folks. Thank you very much, but look at that, that's a beauty. Yeah, I, I just cannot wait to kick off. It's going to be so good, the atmosphere. It's just full of England fans around here. Over here, we've got half. And then the other side as well, it's going to be great. I love Italian fans because obviously I've got a good connection with Lazio. But what is this support? What is that? England have to win this game, not to get relegated for this nation to be group A, so I really want to win this game. We all want England to win, of course. So I'm going to say 2-1. England have got to win. England, 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 England. Here we go then. Italy versus England. We need our revenge from the Euro loss.
God, I hope this second half is better than the first. Oh, the least changed. Oh my God. There is a better option on that. It is so static. I'm not even moving. And that's an England away day, taking over another nation city, having a great time, drinking beers, chanting, and the football ruining the day. Only one thing can cure a 1 0 defeat to Italy, and that's food. We go again Monday against Germany. I don't think it'll be a good performance on Monday, I don't think it'll be anything brilliant, but 18,000 fans in the stadium, it should be very good. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys Monday for Germany at home.